Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more it's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to show you how to use tracks inside the sequencer of Loop Mix. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. As you can see, I have loaded Loop Mix this time inside AUM, so as an AUV3 instance. So let's initialize um, the preset. Let's click at the moment where it says init, but you might have a different loop or preset selected like so. So let's click on the name of the preset. We click on search. We uh, type in it, then we double click on the hint. And in this way, we have initialized a preset. Let's also disable uh, clicking on the um, red uh, enables um, signs here for all these uh, features, the, the ability to randomize each one. Okay, and also go back to in it and also click on the X to remove the search itself. Okay, so make sure that you are in sequencer mode as well. And what we are going to explain is how to use the tracks here in the model. So as you can see, you have six tracks, one to six, and you can select all the tracks clicking on the all button, or you can select each individual track. When you select each individual track, you have the ability to add a sample clicking on the plus sign here or when you click all you have the ability to uh, click on selected all here which enables you still to go to the screen where you can add a sample to each track okay so let's start with uh, uh, clicking on the first track and remember that uh, the changes that you make to a track through these controls here okay which i will explain in uh, this video are dependent on the track that you have selected. So if I make some changes on track one, they will be only relevant to track one. If I click all, the changes which I make selecting any of these controls will be applicable to all the tracks, okay? So let's go to track number one, click on the plus sign, and let's click on the play to um, preview the kick. Okay, that's nice. Click and drag, like so. On the first track, we drag also the snare that and also we type hit something like that i like that one so i drag and drop that one on the third track and remember these controls here on the track itself on this screen so you can click this button here to randomize all the selection of um, each sample on the tracks which are active or you can randomize just one track like so you can solo and mute as well each track you can also lock for example uh, one track so that when you randomize all these track doesn't change the sample and of course you can also click this button to um, remove the sample which is selected for that particular track of course you can go to the next if you select one sample like so then you can go to the next one or the previous one using the arrow to the right and the arrow to the left. You can use also the undo button to go back to what you had selected before, like so. And let's click on it until we go back to where we have these initial uh, samples for the first three tracks. Now let's click on the X and we have uh, loaded some samples. The first thing I want to show you is that um, um, the first track and the second track have samples which are repeated. You can see that they are repeated multiple times, but the third track doesn't. Indeed, if I press play now in AUM, you will see the transport control uh, um, going, and you will see also that the third track now has changed, which shows you the end of that loop, and it will continue like so until it gets to the end of that loop, and then it will restart, as you will see at the end of this plane. There you go, and it started. If you want to actually fix the playing only to the four bits, and please note that there are four bits on the screen, one here, two, you can see the, the third one here and the fourth one, well, you click on the trim on. Now, remember, at the moment I have selected track number one, so it will do that only to track number one, so I don't want that. So go to all and click trim on, and now it, that will be active for all the tracks. Indeed, if I press play now, you will see that the third track doesn't change. It is actually locked for those four bits, okay? That's what we want. Now, you don't hear any sound, and that's because uh, we are in sequencer mode and I have not selected anything to play. So let's click here in this region, so it will play only that region, this one, and that one as well. Let's try. Okay, 
and of course it will go in a loop as well. Now you can, if you want to play, to play the entire sample, well, you have to select it all like that. Let me go back to the beginning. And it's very useful to do things like that. So for example, you can play around to create a nice effect. So effectively, you can select which part of the sample, which in this case is repeated, is played, which is really nice indeed. Now, let's select to play um, uh, two samples, and let's say that I want to play these two samples in, um, in a precise rhythm. As you can see, before the third uh, uh, repeated sample play, you have two regions here instead of one which is not great, so that doesn't work in terms of having a precise repetition. So what I can do, I can select the, I can trim down the selection of the region to be played. So I click and drag here, and I drag up to here, so that means that it will play just to here, then it will repeat itself. So let's try. Okay, perfect. Of course, I can trim it also at the beginning, like so, and then I can click and drag in the middle to move the region which uh, have been trimmed. Okay, now let's go to the second track. As you can see, here we have um, um, a, a, another sample, okay? And as you can see, as I select this sample, it doesn't allow me to select both samples at the same time, and that's because I have selected mono, so click on poly, and then it will allow you to select multiple regions for different tracks at, this in, at the same position. Now, you can see that um, the play of the second sample is out uh, to the right, so to correct that, click, uh, make sure that you have selected track number two, and then click offset, like so. And then you have offset it like so, and now you can select exactly what to play like so, and this makes it more precise. Another way to do it is just click in this space here, click and drag, and then move left and right, will you accomplish the same. And of course, that is for track number two, but you can action it also for all tracks. So let's go back to the beginning and play. Okay, very nice indeed. And now let's play some alternating regions on track number three to make it more fun. Okay, perfect. Now down to these controls on the right hand side. This symbol here allows you to delete what you have in the track like so. Now let's click and do. And these symbols here allows you to stop uh, or lock for randomization. So indeed, if I enable randomization on the sequencer, click in here, then if I press the big random button here, now it will randomize the first and second tracks, but not the third one because it's locked, okay? So now let's uh, go back like so, remove, remove the randomization, and also disable here the random on the sequencer. Okay, so hopefully that uh, is um, straightforward. Now let's uh, delete the tracks uh, like so. Now let's go back to track number one, click on the plus sign and click on the plus sign again on the first one. And let's, um, let's load, um, actually I'll tell you what, let's load uh, a, something else from uh, inside um, a loop mix. So let's choose something like um, this. Gonna be into the That's fine. Okay, click and drag that and let's drag that three times on three tracks, okay. So you can see same tracks, which is um, same a sample, which has been loaded into three different tracks. Okay, so now what we want to do is to see how we can change the pitch. So let's select that it will play all the different tracks, like so for all the region, and we also select trim. Actually, let's go to all and ensure that trim only selected for all tracks. And now let's click play. Tied, gonna be a tied. Now let's uh, um, make the region in full. Tide, gonna be into the broad daylight. Now let's go to, to the second track and now let's change the pitch up, for example, to, uh, why not, seven. And then let's go to track number three and change the pitch down to five semitones, like so. Tide, gonna be into the broad daylight. As you can see, you can create almost an harmony. So that is how the pitch works here. Yeah, you can change the pitch up and down by an octave in semitones, which is um, really nice it did. Then also what you can do is change the speed. So let's double the speed of the track number three, like so, and let's go back at the beginning and play. Tied, 
Really nice indeed. It works really, really well. Other things you can do before I uh, stop with the tutorial for this video is uh, I showed you earlier on that you can adjust the region here that is played. Now you can see that this is not to grid. If you un uh, tick this nap, you can do fine selection like so. Oh, now let me re-enable it. And the other thing I did to show is that you can press on this button here to actually randomize the sample which is loaded. And of course, if you select the old tracks and click on it again, it will randomize the samples for all the different tracks. Finally, underneath here, you have uh, this bar with a minus symbol here and a plus. If you click plus, you can zoom in and then you can move this bar to actually have finer selections of your sample and of course you can press on the minus to go back right at the top so practically zooming out okay i hope you enjoyed this tutorial see you next time bye